You know, a question that I get asked pretty often is, is this healthy? And, you know, it's usually related to food. Is this healthy? And my answer very rarely wavers from, well, that depends. What are we comparing it to? You see, even talking about food in terms of is it healthy or unhealthy isn't exactly fair because food lies on a continuum of nutrition. And even that continuum isn't one continuum. There's lots of different layers and branches to it because the nutrition of a banana is different than the nutrition of a stew um, because we're going to be comparing different things, literally. Um, are we comparing the nutritional content with um, protein as our primary um, target or, or consideration? Are we considering calories? Are we considering fat? Are we considering a nutrient profile? Um, you know, this is often something that comes up, you know, comparing sweet potatoes to laid potatoes. Um, you know, sweet potatoes are not nutritionally superior to a white potato. I know that sounds blasphemous, but it's true. They are different nutritional profiles, but one is not better than the other. It depends on what we're looking at. Those potatoes can be healthy or unhealthy in and of themselves in terms of um, a live organism. Have they been grown in ideal conditions? Have they been given enough water? Uh, how dense is the nutrition of the soil that they've been grown in? All of these things contribute to the health of the potato. The nutrition of the potato can then contribute to our health, but the food itself is not really healthy or unhealthy. One of the examples I like to use in this conversation, um, because people are like, yeah, but Carrie, like some foods are just never healthy. And again, we have to keep in the context of compared to what. So if we are going to compare eggs, we're going to talk about Easter eggs, chocolate, and we're going to talk about chicken eggs, not chocolate. Most people would certainly say, well, Carrie, that's a no brainer. The egg, the chicken egg is definitely a, the healthier option. Well, what about those of us who can't eat eggs, chicken eggs, without side effects? You see, I love egg. I love both kinds of eggs. They're both delicious and high on my list of loving those foods. But if I eat the chicken egg, I am going to experience a rash and I am also going to experience some pretty funky digestive sim symptoms <laughs> and the people around me um, are going to suffer from me eating that egg also. So is that egg healthier for me than eating the chocolate egg? Well, I'm going to argue no, because if I eat the chocolate egg, all I get to experience is pleasure. It's delicious, presuming it's I don't want to eat just any chocolate egg. The chocolate has to be good and all the other bits. But my point is that if I'm looking for um, a pleasant and nourishing eating experience and I can choose between the chicken egg or the chocolate egg, it is in my best, healthiest interest to eat the chocolate egg. Let's do another example. Let's say we are comparing a home cooked, I don't know, vegetable stir fry over a bed of, I don't know, let's say quinoa, because most people, I don't, personally don't like quinoa, but it doesn't, it tends to be what everyone considers to be healthy right now. So just roll with me on this. Uh, I don't know, maybe there's some lean meats or maybe there's some vegetable based protein in there. And so this is the family dinner. And we're gonna compare that to stopping at McDonald's. Well, again, it feels like a no brainer, right? Well, of course you should do the home cooked meal, but then let's bring in the, let's compare. So if you have 
lots of time and energy and your family is not going to fight you tooth and nail to have this stir fry, then yeah, it's probably going to provide you with a ton of nourishment and, and hopefully satisfaction. Uh, hopefully you've created a nice sauce or seasonings and it's delicious. If, however, you are working and you're traveling, um, commuting is what I'm looking for. Uh, we're in the middle of a pandemic and life is chaotic and crazy and your family doesn't like what's in that and they're going to fight you tooth and nail on it. So picture that environment. You're completely harried. You're exhausted. Um, you've got kids and partners asking and vying for your attention. You've got a million things to do. You're just not in a good space and you're going to sit down to a dinner that everyone's going to fight over or you're going to be on your way home going I'm flipping exhausted and I need to make my life a bit easier today so I'm going to stop at McDonald's and I'm going to grab whatever and I'm going to sit down with my family and we're going to watch a funny movie we're going to laugh and we're going to connect and we're going to have a lovely evening over McDonald's which is a healthier option under these circumstances McDonald's now from a nutritional standpoint you know try and keep in mind any food is better than no food and I'm not promoting McDonald's. I don't actually enjoy McDonald's. I'm, maybe I should have picked a different one that I could have like stood behind a little stronger, but I hope you're getting my point. It depends. So whether or not something is healthy or health promoting, it just depends on so many circumstances. And we seem to have lost sight that nutrition and health and fitness are continuums. And it varies day by day as to what is in your best interest, what is in your family's best interest, and what is going to provide you with peace and comfort and nourishment. And nourishment is so much more than nutrients. It is the experience of eating. And there's some interesting research around um, what we absorb and how our body handles food when we're genuinely enjoying it um, and have unconditional permission to eat it. It's really rather interesting stuff. Um, but anyways, so that is, that is my answer to the question, is this healthy or not? And I would encourage you to <sighs> exhale and remember that what we eat is such a tiny piece of the health pie. Why we eat, how we eat, who we eat with um, is a little bit bigger, but still a very small piece of the health pie. Our, um, our relationships, our connections, our happiness, our, um, our rest, our, all these things contribute to our health so much more our financial circumstances are like there's just there's so much that contributes to health that is so far beyond what we eat um and yet we've created this culture where food is so stinking stressful and laden with guilt and feeling like the moral implications of stopping at mcdonald's god forbid you fed your children I mean, it is brutal, the kind of environment that we have created. And I just want to give you my full permission, if you feel like you need someone's permission, to do what is easy. To do what's easy. We are one full year into this pandemic and we are all tired. We're all tired. So it's okay. Take a break. Choose to watch something funny on TV and have whatever convenience or comfort foods serve you and your family so that you can create that time.